Yesterday, we showed you a trailer from Piers Morgan's interview with Donald Trump. And unfortunately, this plot has thickened because it appears that the way the trailer was edited was deceptive. It appeared that Trump had angrily walked out of the interview as soon as Piers Morgan asked him about the 2020 presidential election. But it turns out that wasn't really what happened. Now to remind you of what the trailer looked like, let's take a quick look and then we'll fill you on, fill you in on what really happened. Okay, Piers, I'm ready. A former president in denial. I'll be completely straight with you to your face. I think I'm a very honest man, much more honest than you actually. Really? Yeah. It was a free and fair election. You lost. Only a fool would think You think I'm a fool? I do now, yeah. With respect. Excuse me. Okay, but with respect. The legislation produced the hard evidence. Excuse me. The most explosive interview of the year. I don't think you're real. It's, I really it's I'm not like very dishonest. I just Let's finish up the interview. Morgan versus Turn Trump. The camera off. Very dishonest. So uh, it turns out that, uh, wow, what a shocker. Pierce Morgan uh, is very dishonest and that trailer was edited in a dishonest way. But let's be clear, they're both dishonest people. So you should take anything that either one of them ever says with a grain of salt. With that said though, it does seem like Trump and his team have a point here. Trump's team claimed the clip was misleadingly edited to give the impression Trump shouted, turn the camera off while rising from his chair in anger. Audio provided by Trump's team to US media outlets suggested that in reality, the comment was made after the pair exchanged pleasantries at the end of the chat and was subsequently edited for dramatic effect. Taylor Bodewick, Trump's spokesperson said, this is a pathetic attempt to use Trump as a way to revive the career of a failed television host. And you know what, that statement might be right. Um, so the Trump team then released uh, audio to the public to prove their point. Here's what really went down. In the audio, a handler for Trump can be heard multiple times saying, Morgan needs to wrap up the hour long interview, which was reportedly supposed to last 20 minutes. You. You've done last question four times now, said a Trump assistant. I feel like you're lying at this point. Morgan asks one last question about Trump's recent hole in one. Remember, he did the the golf thing. And Trump answers, and the interview ends amicably. If you listen closely, you can hear the sound bites used in the trailer. Turn the camera off and very dishonest after the interview is already over. So now, let's take a listen to that audio. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very All right, I'm gonna be honest, I can't really hear much from yeah, that he audio. Yeah, he did say very dishonest there at the end. That's one of the clips that they used. Yeah. Okay, so look, we're the fairest show in America. So we hate Donald Trump, but he's right about this one, at least in how that promo was deceptively edited. But I also note for the record that normally when Donald Trump says something is fake news, he never provides evidence. Right. But he did in this case. Exactly. So apparently when he has the evidence, he doesn't mind providing it. And when we see the evidence, we go, "Oh, that's true. That's a fact. No problem." We didn't, like there's I don't know about mainstream media, but for us, we have no need to lie about Trump and we have no desire to lie about Trump. Uh he does so many insane things, you don't ever have to lie about him, right? Um but we would never uh like we're, look, we're correcting the record right now. So yeah, I, and even I, though we didn't do it, we're correcting yeah. Beers Morgan's record, right? Uh, so anyways, uh, so you can tell guys if you're right wing, when he doesn't give you the evidence, that means he doesn't have it and it isn't fake news. In this case, it was. So now in the now I'm turning to Piers Morgan. Look- Piers Morgan sucks, man. Okay, I'm gonna take an, uh, a slightly different take on it. I think Piers Morgan also sucks. Okay, uh, So I think he's- Fair. I think he's conservative. I think that he purposely does things in an outrageous way to get attention. So, hence, I don't, I, I don't think he's really honest, right? In that sense, right? And sensationalizing everything. On the other hand, he's not nuts, and and he's not making up outrageous claims about how he's got a kraken that he's going to release about 2020 elections, etc. And, and he's not endangering anyone, he's not physically threatening anyone. 
Uh, and he sometimes has positions that are not normal conservative, challenging Trump. Uh, he's very much for gun control. Obviously, that's because he's from the UK, but it's different. It's it's not a standard cookie cutter approach. So although I don't like him, well, God bless on free speech. So I have no problems with Piers Morgan doing whatever he does on whatever platform. It's, when you take have to do the extreme step of taking someone off a platform like Alex Jones, it shouldn't be because you disagree with them. I disagree with Piers Morgan. I would never take him off of those platforms. It's for when you purposely lie about things and or you threaten violence or you create violence, right? Mm -hmm. So even though I don't like Piers Morgan, I'm okay with him doing these interviews. And I think that the the promo was ridiculous because it was uh, you know wrongly edited. But the substance of the interview where he challenged Trump was kind of interesting. So that's yeah. why you have free speech. And look, Trump uh, isn't just fuming about the fact that the you know promotional video was deceptively edited. Uh, he's stewing about the line of questioning in regard to the 2020 election. So I'm gonna read you, uh, God help me, <laughs> a few of these uh, comments from Trump. Pierce Morgan, like the rest of the fake news media, attempted to unlock unlawfully and deceptively edit his long and tedious interview with me. He wanted to make it look like I walked out on the interview when my time limit was 20 minutes, went over by an hour. The good news is that the interview was taped by us as a means of keeping him honest. The interview was actually very strong on the 2020 election fraud <laughs> with me calling him a fool. If you truly believe those results, the evidence is massive and irrefutable, check the, Check uh, out Truth of the Vup. No, true. please don't check that out. Yeah, Dinesh like, D'Souza. Like, he's a new. felon, uh, not interested. Uh, it just shows, however, uh, what I have to deal with in the fake news media. He went out of his way to deceptively edit an interview and got caught. That is a big story, isn't it? It's it's an okay story. We're covering it right now, mostly to correct the record. Uh, Trump did release a second statement today about the 2020 election and all that. So he says, if I did what Pierce Morgan did in uh, his fake interview with me, rigging and redoing my words and then making it sound like I walked out of an interview, the failed gubernatorial candidate and radical left racist Attorney General of the New York of New York State, Letitia James, would start an immediate investigation and demand the reinstitution institution of the death penalty or whatever may be worse than that. He like they're both I just I hate both of them. Like how do how could anyone like either one of these guys? Unlike others, I don't believe Pierce is a complete slime ball, but he lost a lot of credibility. Interestingly, Many of the fake news media outlets are covering his mistake. The view they view it as potentially fraudulent and so do I. Pierce is off to a bad start, but thanks to me, he may get a final burst of big ratings before it all comes crashing down. Okay. Yeah. So um, he has evidence in this case. We show you the evidence and we say he's right about that particular case. So then he says, "Oh, I also have, as he called it, massive dumps of evidence on the much more important issue of 2020 elections. And he had 60 court cases to present that evidence. And he never presented it. Mm -hmm. I mean, on a random irrelevant interview, the minute he has a shred of evidence, he's like, ah, I have it, I have it for the first time in my life, I have evidence, right? Dude, the presidency was on the line. What you told your supporters was that democracy was on the line, that the election was being stolen. And in 60 court cases, you never presented one piece of evidence that the election was stolen. Why didn't you do that? Do you care more about the Piers Morgan interview than the election? No, it's obvious for anyone paying attention. He never had any evidence of fraud. That's why Republicans across the country were like, I, I, I want to help them, but there are, it just isn't any evidence, and I don't know how to make it up. So he's just a phenomenal liar. And look, guys, I don't understand how the right wing believes anything he says. He said there, that if I had done a fake interview like this, Letitia James, the Attorney General, would have tried to, to execute me on the, with the death penalty. Really? You think that the? I mean, they barely. She's doing a she's civil. She's doing a civil trial against them. They, she doesn't even have the courage to do a criminal trial. The Manhattan DA is a total coward with overwhelming evidence. With his prosecutor screaming, "We have him! 
He's definitely guilty. The Manhattan DA is like, oh no, 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 I'm too scared of Trump. I'm too scared of Trump. No, no, it's worse than that. Uh, he is lying, Alvin Bragg, and saying that, no, 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 we're still doing this criminal investigation. No, but two not. prosecutors uh, who worked on that case stepped down because no, it's come to a complete standstill. Uh, they're not moving forward with it. Yeah, so. and so I don't care about him saying that he's right when he is. That's so easy. Like he says, uh, you know, I didn't walk out of that interview. Oh, I believe him. He never walks out of any interview. <laughs> he's like, I stayed in front of the lights for an extra hour. I totally believe you. That is Trump 101. He is very good about being available to the press. So, you know, there's no reason for us to lie about him. Uh, and, and then he does outrageous things like, Oh, these, these Democrats are so tough on me. If I misedited something, they try to kill me. How do you believe that, right wingers? How do you believe that? So overall, in this story, um, hey, I'm glad they did the interview, but there's really no winners between Trump and Piers Morgan. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.